Hey guys, Doug Rucker here with Doug Rucker School and DougRuckerStore.com. And just got in from a big parking lot job. Uh, took us a day and a half because it was super, super dirty, a lot of mud. Second day, I Siamese my nine and my eight gallon per minute pressure washer. And I'm uh, going to show you how I did that. We were able to get 17 gallons per minute and just cut the rinsing time and more than double. So if you got two machines, you can do this. So stay tuned. Next. Okay, guys. So this is a parking lot on a commercial building that we cleaned. Uh, just had a lot of areas that were just tons and tons of mud. You can see how uh, the rain uh, on that dirt area, when it rains, it just runs that dirt down into uh, the parking lot there and it just kind of cakes up. So that kind of stuff is very tough to move. We use a straight edge shovel to get most of it um, and just kind of what we do is just flip it back up into the dirt. Um, but then, you know, you have to wash or use your pressure washer to get all the other uh, mud and move it. And we'll a lot of times try to just pressure wash it back up into the mud. Sometimes it'll start flowing back down. So that's a useless cause. Um, so when you have stuff like this, this is when it's key to have higher flow machines like a eight gallon per minute machine or a nine gallon per minute machine. Five will work. It's going to take a little bit longer. Um, four gallon per minute, just a little bit longer uh, for that as well. Um, the smaller ones, three gallon per minute, two gallon per minute. So a lot of guys I see start out with, I just wouldn't even attempt something like this um, with a machine like that. But anyway, um, as you see, the big parking lot here is very, very dirty. And so all of that just becomes really, really uh, muddy uh, when you're surface cleaning and going over it. And then again, you have to push all that and rinse it all down. And so having the higher flow machines definitely is going to help. But what we did on this job, uh, we came back the second day because it started raining on us late in the first day. Actually, I was hoping the rain was going to take care of a lot of this, but it just didn't rain that hard. Uh, but we ended up siamesing uh, my nine gallon per minute and my eight gallon per minute machine together. And when I say siamese, that's basically hooking two machines together. So in this instance, again, we had a nine gallon per minute machine and an eight gallon per minute machine. So that enabled us to get 17 gallons per minute when we were rinsing. So just to explain to you what a Siamese kit or Siamese system or whatever, I don't, I don't know how they came up with a Siamese name, but anyway, it's basically three pressure wash hoses, three short hoses, probably four or five feet long, um, coming off of a T. And so the at the end of each hose, there is a check valve, but allows you to put the coupler or the plug fitting on the end of each one of those three hoses. And then you simply hook up to uh, your pressure washers, the two uh hoses that are coming off the T that go straight across that form the top of the T. So the one on the left, that's going to the nine gallon per minute machine. The hose on the right at the top coming off the top of the T, that's going to the eight gallon per minute machine. And so then you've got the bottom hose coming off of the T, which is the bottom part of the T. And that hooks to the hose that you're either surface cleaning with or that you're going to rinse with. That's go, that's the hose that's going to spray your water. Um, and so once you get both machines running, um, you're getting the full flow of both of those machines, the nine and the eight, or if you had an eight and an eight, you'd get 16 gallons per minute. If you had two fours, two four gallon per minute machines, you could achieve eight gallon per minute. So that's basically how a Siamese kit works or Siamese system works um, when you're hooking up two machines 
it allows you to get both of the flow ratings out of both of those machines. And so once you've got both the machines hooked up to the Siamese kit, then you're simply running one hose to your surface cleaner or your ball valve or whatever you're using on the end of your hose. And now you're getting, in this case, we're getting 17 gallons per minute. Um, one thing I did discover uh, that we had to do is we had to start the eight gallon per minute machine first and then start the nine gallon per minute machine. I'm not sure if that's something that, you know, you always have to do start the lower gallon per minute machine first and then the higher but uh that was the way we were able to get it working properly so i think if you have two fives or two eights it's probably not an issue but if you've got like a five and a four or an eight and a four or whatever um you'd probably want to start the lower gallon per minute machine first hey guys real quick don't forget to hit that subscribe button uh leave me a comment and a question hit the like button and uh share it out if you think this will help somebody uh appreciate you guys watching but always uh appreciate it when you guys subscribe um leave me a comment or a question and then also hit that notification bell that way you get uh notifications every time i come out with uh something that may help you so here we are using the 24 inch whisper wash a little big guy uh, it's my favorite surface cleaner to use. And so you can see having the extra flow allows us to step up our pace a little bit. Um, this concrete now, it was clean the night before, but of course all the dirt had settled back in. So we had to run over it again uh, real quick, just kind of loosen the dirt back up and then uh, start rinsing it uh, using an open ball valve. I found using an open ball valve um, really just kind of makes it easier on you versus having to hold a gun with a nozzle in it. Um, we can kind of regulate the water flow with the ball valve versus a trigger gun. Um, just kind of makes it a whole lot easier, I think, and much more relaxing, almost like water in the yard. And so uh, we just do it with an open ball valve. Just makes it, you know, a whole lot easier, like I said. Um, Sometimes you do have to use the the gun and a nozzle um, if the dirt has settled back down. But for the most part, when you're dealing with high gallon per minute uh, flow rates like this, an open ball valve is going to work great to loosen up all of that dirt and move that mud. Okay, guys, that's basically some basic information for you for a... Uh, Siamese kit hooking up two pressure washers together to help you be more productive. Cut rinsing and cleaning time down in half. I'll probably do a more in-depth video. This is, like I said, after a job and pretty tired. So just, but just wanted to kind of put something together to give you guys an idea what can be achieved. We do have those Siamese kits available at DougRuckerStore.com. If you're interested, again, you've got to have two machines. So. Um, if you don't have two machines, they, I think the unloader needs to be the same as well. Um, so anyway, uh, don't forget to hit that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel and turn on those post notifications. So you never miss a video like this. Also, you might head over to pressurecleaningschool.com. That's my training website there. Got a great online video school with over 260 videos on there. This thing's about eight or nine years old. Um, so you can check that out. And then also we do hands-on training once a month here in Houston. Actually, this month, we've got so many people coming. I had to have two, um, two sessions. And we've got one, uh, one of those, actually, a guy's bringing a trailer in for us to build his rig out. So... Anything that we can help you on, just let us know. Rig builds, training, um, DougRuckerStore.com for any of your supplies, equipment. But, you know, most of all, just uh, at, leave me a comment. Ask a question if there's anything that I can help you guys. I try to answer every question um, as quickly and as fast as I possibly can. Hey, guys, uh, just a few 
points to summarize this video. Um, just kind of some things I want to make you aware of and make sure you know. Um, first off, this is really basically just like three whip poses uh, put together with a T. The most important part um, is on the bottom of each hose is a uh, check valve, which is a kind of a one-way check valve. It's absolutely vital that you have those check valves on there. It just helps make the whole system run smoother or both systems run smoother when you're using these. Um, so, you know, you could get the get these parts and, of course, put one of these together um, yourself if you wanted to. Um, I actually looked at sourcing the parts and making this um, available as a DIY where you could buy just the parts and put it together yourself. Or um, when we buy it, it's already put together and the pricing was really pretty much the same. You would save probably a couple bucks if I ordered just the parts. So it's just available. It comes as a kit like this already put together. Um, but in case you do try to source the parts out, you've got to make sure you get the proper uh, three eighths check valves, uh, one directional. Um, also, when you're hooking these up to say like two four gallon per minute, you need to make sure that you are using eight gallon per minute nozzles. If you're using two five gallon per minute, then uh, you would need to use 10 gallon per minute nozzles. So you've got to make sure your nozzles are matching your new flow that's coming out of uh, the machines. You also want to make sure that your PSI rating on both of the machines are pretty much the same. So if they're 3,500 and you've got them set at 3,500, you need to make sure both machines are set at 3,500 PSI. And then probably a good idea to check it once it's coming out um, from both those hoses. So you could put a pressure gauge at the uh, hose there where the blue hose connects to the uh, black hose there at the bottom of the T. Um, that's a good way to check that, but you want those PSIs to both, both on both machines to be pretty, pretty equal. And then of course, the other thing is, is if you're using two, four gallon per minute machines and you're hook, hooking up to a house, you've got to make sure both of those water supplies are putting out at least four gallons per minute. So do your bucket te test. Um, if you're feeding off of, uh, water tanks, uh, or your gravity feeding your machines, then of course you want to make sure that both machines are getting, or both tanks are getting adequate water supply. And then keep an eye on them as you're cleaning and as you're using this, because sometimes one, like on our nine and our eight that I was using, the nine would exhaust a little bit faster than the eight would. So occasionally we'd have to turn one of the machines off and uh, let it kind of replenish. But that's that's very key too. You want to make sure that you're uh, keeping that water flow uh, up to the gallon per minute that you are combining. So if you're combining to get eight, you got to make sure that you've got adequate water flow to supply that. So hope this helps you guys. If you have any questions, just let me know. We'll have these available at the store. Um, you can purchase. But again, if you've only got one machine, then this is not something that's going to help you. You don't need it yet. But if you do have two machines, same type of pump, same type of unloader. And that's another thing. I don't recommend using these if you have those flow actuated unloaders. Um, those are the type of unloaders when you pull the trigger, it gives a small little um, burst and then a, and kind of increases the pressure within a couple seconds. I don't use those, don't like them. Um, but you need to have make sure you have what's called pressure trap unloaders. Um, if you're going to use this. So thanks for watching. Again, if you have any questions, any comments, just leave them below. And uh, thanks so much for watching.